assalam alaikum guys how are you this is your teacher sir haris and uh, again i am on my insta to give you the important questions regarding your mcqs paper of as accounting uh, you are supposed to appear after 3 to 4 days so if you talk about as accounting mcqs paper 9706 the first question because i have prepared the questions for you basically and uh, the pattern of the questions will remain the same which i am going to give you so the first question will come from accounting concept acha generally they used to ask regarding accounting concept that uh, which concept is applied try the skill of a worker that is for money measurement concept profit should not be overstated losses should not be understated prudence concept so such type of concept will come in your first mcqs then there is another concept realization concept that is very important regarding your first mcqs uh, you know realization concept is also very important for example if revenue is earned when recorded so that will go to the realization concept is going to be the answer so first question which accounting concept is being applied second question will come from capital and revenue expenditure it will be given that you need to classify the expense as capital or revenue it is very easy one time expenditure or the expenditure incurred on the purchase of a non current asset it's a capital expenditure third question and fourth question will come from depreciation i just want to make you analyze that when there is a question from depreciation or provision for doubtful debts you should be very much aware of this fact that what type of question is being asked by the examiner for example what is the total provision for depreciation at the end of this year what is the depreciation charge for this year these are all different questions then there is a question coming in the previous paper that depreciation is given the asset is being sold out after 2 years what is the cost of the asset so you have to go reverse for example if in straight line method depreciation rate is 10% and 2 years have passed it means the book value of the asset after 2 years that is equal to 80% of the cost i repeat again if you are selling the asset after 2 years the book value of the asset after 2 years according to the 10% percentage if the rate of depreciation is 10% so first year 10% second year 10% so the book value of the asset is equal to 80% of the cost of the asset so book value of the asset divided by 0.8 divided by 80% you will get the cost of the asset but in diminishing balance method you have to go reverse in both the cases step by step then part exchange there can be a question regarding part exchange in mcqs yes that he may say you that uh, a new 